Um, first off, uh, it's great to be back in uh, Helsinki. We've had many uh, good boxing memories here. Uh, you know, uh, Robert's fought here, obviously, you know, on many occasions, and uh, you know we expect a very good crowd um, at the arena on a Saturday night. Of course, with heavyweight fights, it brings a great spectacle. Uh, heavyweight fighters have that one punch knockout power, which both these guys um, possess. Um, I mean, my prediction for Saturday is going to be a tough fight. I believe uh, you know, the, the Nordic Nightmare will come out on top. Um, and of course, you know, the announcers come back on the world stage and will be you know, in line you know, for a title shot in the near future. So um, you, know, you can expect a big night of boxing on Saturday. Um, to, to round it up, we have a lot of good undercard fighters as well. We have Patrick Nielsen fighting for the WBA Intercontinental title. Um, he's uh, labelled the next Mikkel Kessler in Denmark. We have uh, Swedish fighters, Norwegian fighters. Uh, so, you know, we expect a great night of boxing and hopefully a very successful night. Robert, your first fight in 11 months. Do you feel a special pressure? Or are you nervous? Is it different from any other fights now that you come back from injury? No, I don't, I don't feel any special pressure. I'm just excited that I'm going to fight him. And what do you think of Sean Williams now that you've met him face to face for the first time? Uh, he seems a nice guy. Yeah, I, I have seen his uh, few fights, a couple of rounds. And uh, yeah, he, he's a big swing thrower, so have to be careful. German, you arrived on Tuesday. What have the last couple of days been like for you here in Helsinki? Um, yeah, well, first of all, it's nice to be here. Nice to be in Helsinki. Uh, it's been wonderful the last two days. Uh, the people in uh, Helsinki have yeah, shown me a lot of love. Uh, actually, uh, I like the place. Everybody's nice. Uh, they're very hospitable, and uh, it's a great atmosphere. I wish it was 80 degrees, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. But uh, yeah, it's nice to be here. But at least you brought some sunshine. I definitely brought two, uh, two days of sunshine. The first day was no sun. We have sun this morning and sun yesterday, so I deliver on my promise so far. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Uh about Saturday then, uh, what do you think about Robert and your special punch, the conch punch? You both have been, well, if you've written and heard a lot about it, um, can, you, can you speak about it and uh, how do you plan on, well, on hitting Robert? Well, yeah, uh, well, first of all, uh, what I think about Robert, uh, Robert uh, he's, uh, seems to be a, a very good person, a nice guy, a family guy, uh, an outstanding athlete, uh, you know. He deserves a lot of respect. Uh, they had some concerns. They was asking me yesterday in a public workout. Uh, they were a bit timid that maybe I would come to Helsinki and do uh, the stuff that Shazar did with the slapping and the spitting. And, um, you know, I, I had to tell them that you know this is boxing. This is not a circus. Unfortunately, uh, some fighters don't uh, conduct themselves properly. But uh, you know, fighters deserve a lot of respect. Uh, it's a very tough job. You know, uh, we sacrifice a lot of time uh, when everybody's in bed sleeping and having coffee. We are on the street running and doing hard work, so my hat's off to Robert. Uh, as to all the fighters, deserve the biggest respect. Um, you know, he's been quite decent to me, I've been decent to him, and uh, I'm just happy that I'm here. And I'm here not for vacation, but to take advantage of this opportunity. Um, Robert uh, has uh, a pretty uh, decent record. Uh, he fought uh, a pretty good name fighters, but uh, obviously he's never fought anybody like uh, Tank Williams. And um, I'm here uh, to definitely uh, bring the fight to Robert and uh, take these titles uh, back home to the ring. So will it be decent on Saturday night in the ring? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, like I said, you know, I'm a decent guy. I'm a German. I'm You know, nice looking, handsome. I mean, you know, what, what can I say? Uh, you know, I, I think it's very important uh, for for all fighters and all athletes to conduct themselves uh, very civil. Uh, you know, now where I come from, if you slap a guy or you spit in a guy's face, the guy might have a machete waiting for you in the locker room. So, you know, we don't play this disrespect. Everybody deserves respect. 
on Saturday night, I had to do a job. I saw the promotion gave me an opportunity. And I'm going to perform as a professional to the best of my ability. And I hope that all the Finnish fans and all the fans in Europe enjoy this fight. And I will use this fight as a stepping stone uh, to uh, possibly get in there with one of the Klitschko's and make them a real fight. Sai, a question for you. You know uh, Sherman very well, better than most people. What do you think makes him special? Very, very difficult to say, except that, as you know, I managed quite a few boxers, including a world champion, and I've never had a fighter with me that's a truer gentleman than Sherman. Everything he said about himself, I have to agree with is true, except that I have never had a fighter that is any tougher than Sherman. I guarantee the fans that on Saturday night, this very, very nice guy will become a world-class boxer. There is no doubt in my mind that uh, Sherman will be there. Unfortunately, he's been held back quite a bit because people have been afraid to really go out and fight Sherman. I'm delighted to see that he has the opportunity. I know what he was able to do uh, in his last two fights. One with a very, very great uh, champion. And another with also a world champion that time that Sherman won a few belts for. So I promise the fans there will be a Sherman Williams in that ring that will be tough and it will be there to win. So I do want to thank everybody here for the hospitality you've shown us, and believe me, it's much appreciated. Now, you've promised the Finnish fans to uh, give them uh, any anyway, boxing champion. Now, Robert is undefeated, has not fought former world champion, has been European champion. How is he proceeding? And how do you see this plan of becoming champion uh, turn into reality? Herr Wegner, Sie haben den äh, finnischen Fans versprochen, Robert Gelinus zum Weltmeister zu machen. Er hat schon Weltmeister ausgenommen, war Europameister. Ähm, wie steht es um den Plan und wie geht es jetzt weiter? Ja, gut, das ist ein großes Versprechen, ist ganz klar. Wir müssen jetzt erst mal sehen, wie er nach seiner Verletzungspause dementsprechend wieder im Wettkampf die Form wieder kriegt. Im Trainingsprozess sind wir natürlich sehr erstaunt gewesen über seine Entwicklung nach der Verletzung. Ja, das Kriterium ist immer nach der Wettkampf. Und ich glaube doch, die Fans in Finnland, wo die Hallen noch voll sind, wenn wir hier waren, haben es verdient, dass er im Schwergewicht war, dass Robert Weltmeister werden kann, für mich ist es fast eine Pflicht. Und wenn ich das immer höre, er hat im Schwäbel noch keinen Weltmeister, dann geht mir das schon langsam auf den Wecker. Aber die Voraussetzungen sind da. Ich merke, dass in Robert vor allen Dingen eine unheimlich positive Entwicklung seiner Persönlichkeit vorgeht. Trainiert viel bewusster, als er zu mir kam wo er schon einiges mitgebracht hat, muss man ja wieder ganz klar sagen, ich hoffe. Und das ist auch mein persönlicher Ehrgeiz, dass ich den Robert die Entwicklung, die er versprechen kann, dass er das auf jeden Fall äh, seinen Traum erfüllt. Jetzt sollen wir es noch so noch abwarten und dann sehen wir wieder weiter. Uh, well, it's of course a very big promise I made, but I expect you to stick to it and we have to see uh, and find out about Robert's form. I was very impressed with him in practice, uh, in surprise, he did very, very well. But of course, the main criteria for performance is always what happens in the ring on fight night and we have to see how it goes. Uh, I've promised the great Finnish fans that um, they will get a heavyweight champion. Um, they have supported Robert very, very well in the past fights. Uh, they've been steady a great support for him in the ring. And we want to continue this uh, very positive development. And I want to help Robert to turn him into uh, well, a world champion and, and to help him accomplish his dream. I must say he has changed uh, as a fighter, as a person. He's, he's developed very well in practice. He is, uh, the development has been very positive. He has, uh, especially in terms of his personality and his training. He trains, he knows how to train and what to do. 
Um, so uh, we are very optimistic for Saturday night, and uh, of course we will work hard to fulfill this dream of giving the Finnish fans a heavyweight champion. Gus, a question for you. Uh, Sherman gives up a lot uh, in, in hay because Robert is, is very tall. Uh, how do you plan to overcome this uh, big advantage or disadvantage in, in size? I don't, I don't look at it as a disadvantage. Um, you know, Sherman, you know, everybody he fights is taller than him. Um, I actually look at it as a big advantage for Sherman. He, um, you know, he's the smartest fighter I've ever trained. He, um, he puts a lot of pressure on guys. And, um, you, know, he, he, you know, here's the thing about Robert. He's six foot seven, six foot six. He doesn't use his height very well. Um, He's a, he's a typical European style fighter, uh, good fighter, but you know Sherman's going to walk right to him. He's going to break him down, and this is what he does. This is what Sherman's built to do. That's why they call him the tank. What do you think of things of that? He said that Robert's the biggest and the best He's so big, but he's typical European, and he's not big enough to be a Sherman. Weil er hat auch Robert nicht äh, richtig äh, analysiert. Äh, Fakt ist, dass die Amerikaner mit unserem Stil sowieso ein bisschen Schwierigkeiten haben. Ne? Das wissen wir, aber viele Länderkämpfe in den USA gemacht mit einem paar Amateuren. Und wir kennen ihren Stil. Sicherlich sind sie gefährlich, sind ziemlich frei in der Kampfesweise. Ich würde mal jetzt sagen, wir Deutschen, Leute, die hier sind, pressen unsere Sportler ein bisschen mehr in ein taktisches Konzept rein. Aber letztendlich entscheidet sich im Wettkampf, wie sein Stil zum Tragen kommt. Und das ist das Wichtigste. Gut analysiert. Ich weiß, mit unserer langen Distanz haben sie alle Probleme. Wir boxen einfach. Dafür erfolgreich. Well, then he probably doesn't uh, has analyzed uh, Robert well. He thinks he doesn't use his size very well. Uh, of course, we know that the Americans have difficulties with our style. Um, we know how they fight. I've been around. I've been to many uh, fights with Americans as an as an amateur coach. So um, something new for me. Uh, I have to say, Robert uses his distance, uh, and they will have problems with, with Robert's long distance. We're boxing pretty simple, but uh, very successful. Uh, Sherman, what will, what will, will be your way uh, at the scales tomorrow, approximately? Yeah, I don't know, maybe 245, 248, somewhere around that. But uh, I feel good, I'm in shape. And uh, why that matters is I take the business inside the match. Very important. Main fighters or the prediction? Sherman, your prediction for Saturday night? Uh, you know, I normally don't make predictions. Like I said, tune in, come to the fight, and you guys will be treated uh, to a great fight. Uh, whatever comes, that's what I'm going to deal with, and that's what I'm going to take. So I definitely uh, predict that it will be a great fight. Yeah, and uh, I don't want to talk this uh, close to the fight or anything. I'm, I'm hoping for a really, really good fight for both of us. It's going to be spectacular. Tulkaa toki vapaasti vaikka liikkoa lähemmäksi ottamaan valokuvia koko tämän areenaan teidän vapaasti käytössä. Olkaa hyvä.